All right, folks, it's time for another edition of Mulratua or Makina Lady Riders of the World. Our next guest is a very special guest indeed. I've known her for so long. This was way before this, the whole motorcycle thing with her. I met her in the music scene. Of course, I'm talking about Gaki Azurin, aka Gaki Moto. Si Gaki mi band, na pala na banda niya is Flying Epis. Ngayon, I was trying to remember. Kailan ba na form Flying Epis? Parang they've been there for so long. Nagulat ako ang Flying Epis, they've been around since 1996. Can you imagine? I was born 1989. So, seven years old ako, tumutugtog na sila. Ha! <laughs> Grabe, di ba? Then they started writing songs 2008. So, they've been punk rocking around for quite some time. Magaling din na drummer din si Gaki, magaling siya gumawa ng content. Ma'am, ano rock band po kayo nagtatambol? Thanks po, sana manotis. Flying Epis! <laughs> Gaki, isa sa mga naunang moto vlogger dito sa Pilipinas. 2016 ata siya nag-start and nagpaturo ako magpa-setup kay Gaki ng GoPro. And for the life of me, back in 2016, wala naman provision na pangkabit niyan sa helmet eh. So si Gaki figured out a way to do it. Tapos bubutasin mo pa yung kilid ng casing ng Hero 4. You know that stuff. So si Gaki nagturo sa akin noon. And then siya din yung nag-setup ng unang-unang moto vloggers meetup. So si Gaki, busy din yan. So sobrang happy ako na may oras po siya to be part of uh, Malratwa. Frankly speaking, I can't imagine Imagine this show going on without her coming out. Siyempre kasama si Gaki Moto dito. So here folks is Miss Gaki Azurin. This is Mulratwa. Makin out Lady Riders of the World. Hello Miss Gaki Moto. Aha! Hello! I'm here! Okay, Gaki, thank you so much for taking time out. Long time coming to. Actually, you're supposed to be the first guest in Malratwa. Our schedules nila nagtugma. I've known you for quite some time. Yeah. Before this whole motorcycle bit. Yeah, I've known you for quite some time. <laughs> what year did you first get into a bike? 2010. Like, we had the same bike. I got like a Kawasaki KS KSR one. KSR, oh. Yeah. Tapos nagtanungan pa tayo paano pag set up and all of that. Yeah, because I, yours was like, <laughs> bam, ready yeah. to fly. Because oh. that's when I started earning good enough money. <laughs> Adulting na. I wanted the Honda Grom, and it's similar to the KSR 110. Uh -oh. So I was like, wow, this mini naked bike. It looks big. Yes. Like if you see it, and then you see me standing next to it in the next photo, you'll be like, we flip pala. <laughs> but if you just see it alone, it looks like, whoa, that's a macho bike. But what made you want to get a bike? I don't know, maybe I wanted to be an action star. <laughs> I was biking since I was like three years old, I think. Oh. Two wheels now. Oh. Whoever had like a big rampa, I would go to the top alone. and then like pedal really fast. I'm like, mm. Like, I'm on a motorcycle. So rush, the, the rush and the fun of it more than uh, the travel part of it. So kailan pumasok na, man, araw-araw ko na to gagamitin for work and everything. So that KSR was just parked in the garage and you know, like my dad would like give me stink eye every time he'd see me. And then I just just riding around the village and then I went to the service road and then next thing you know, I'm on EDSA and I was like, let me take this to go to work. <laughs> it was fun for me, plus it was convenient, plus it was like, you know, earth friendly, you're saving on fuel. Lat ng benefits na realize yeah, mo when you were plus ano. points talaga. So you were pushing the boundaries, ika nga. <laughs> yeah, tapos na invite na sa marilake, yan na. <laughs> so obviously, you got into making content. Since then, you've ridden so many bikes. But yeah. before that, what are these bikes that you, you bought? Started ng Kawasaki KSR 110, mm -hmm. back loan. And then KTM Duke 200. And then I wanted an expressway legal motorcycle. Okay. 2016, the. Uh, Scrambler 62. Did the Scrambler come into the picture before you started picking up a GoPro and strapping it to your helmet? Or no. Nauna yung, yung camera? Yeah, parang that was my first bike shopping series. Ah. That's when I was able to try different motorcycles. You had to go to the dealership and be like, hi, can I demo? <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, wait, you have to put a deposit. You have to do this. You have to do that. Ah, okay. It's like, okay, yeah, I'll do it So this was 2015. All. Yeah. Just to point out here, the whole moto vlogging scene just exploded. Every day, there's something new coming out, there is. which is actually amazing. And just to let you know, the OG, let me put a finger and, and point ah. to Gaki. Suffice to say, anong gumagawa ka na ng content, ikaw lang. Fast forward to now, what can you say about the whole motor vlogging scene? Especially, there are a lot of women 
who are yeah. getting into it now. Yeah, it's like everybody just wants to show what their ride is like. I mean, when we started, like I had no intent naman for anything. It was really just to show my friends abroad, this is the Philippines, stop complaining about traffic in LA because <laughs> this is what traffic is here. <laughs> to show people your point of view, it's like a diary. Mm -hmm. This is my day. I remember this one time, nasa service road ka nun. Nangyari to sa akin, pero it's just so funny, you, you call it on cab, yung plastic, tum tutumama yes! sa, sa mukha Not mo. the first time! <laughs> we have to do something about the garbage. I well, think one of the funner things is like, you know, Valentino Rossi always ignoring me. <laughs> like so many times, it's like, Rossi, Rossi, crickets. <laughs> when did Litas Manila come into play? That was 2017. I would travel and look for other female writers. And then I stumbled upon the Litas, which is like a worldwide database of female writers. And they were like, you could have one in your own city. So I was like, oh my god. Let me look. So I asked different female writers, and then I met Erica Fernandez mm -hmm. and Carol Carth. I was like, do you want to put up the Litas Manila? And they were like, yeah, game. So okay. I was like, I'll just be the back end. You guys do the, you know, <laughs> recruiting since you're more sociable. I'm really shy. I mean, that's okay. why I'm the drummer. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to motorcycling, any close calls? How's your journey so far? Thankfully, nothing big. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> I've gotten hit on the road, just my rear tire, and then, you know, the bike just toppled over. The rest, silly accidents, which you learn about, like, when you're turning and then you snap the brake, oh, your bike no. just, yeah, yeah oh. or like, sometimes the motorcycles, you're really tiptoe, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm not um, very tall. So, when you put your foot down on your toe, bam, uh -oh. slip. You're gonna <laughs> just tip over. Was there a place that you would consider your favorite na, wow, ito na yung dream ride ko na babalik at babalik ako dito or? Nothing in particular. Mm -hmm. I really think it's all about the journey. Sometimes, you know, it's nice with good company. What would you say would be uh, memorable for you? One of my more memorable trips was not in the Philippines. It was in the U.S. where, you know, I got to ride different kind of scenery. It was mm -hmm. cold. I'm this was in San Diego. So we went mountain, there was lake, there was fields, and then Old Town. <laughs> okay. Anong bike gamit mo sa U.S.? I don't own one there, but, you know, luckily I have <laughs> this subscriber whom I met through YouTube. And he has like a collection of 300. What? So, yeah, take your pick. Like, oh, when I... I was there, I rode the, the Fireblade. Wow. I rode an Aprilia Tuono, the S1000RR, the Grabe. HP4, the everything. You Pinoy in the US? No. An American guy. Who 300 just, bikes? Yeah, who stumbled oh my on God. my vlog. He even has that Y2K, the jet engine bike. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Zach, baka you know, naman si we Jay, should... Baka naman si Jay Leno yung hindi kaibigan mo. Hindi siya, hindi siya. <laughs> Competition niya yan. <laughs> Any dream place that you're looking at that you're eyeing after this whole crazy pandemic? I've always wanted to do, a, you know, a European mm -hmm. road trip. The dream is to do like, you know, a one month long trip. Something that would take you from different cities, cross-country oh trip. My other dream trip is around the Philippines. The That's loop. something I was planning before the pandemic hit. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. So going back to your Scrambler, right? Scrambler, then what's next? Sold the Duke 200, got the Duke 390. Okay, because, highway. Yeah, that was like the best bike that year. Now I sold the KTM for the BMW F900R. Mm, yeah. That's a very good bike. And you, you used that uh, when we went out for that little Christmas giveaway thing you were doing. Yes, yes, yes the hop, yes, yes. yeah. It's your most powerful bike, right? Yes, bitin na yung for. And yeah, once you go BMW, you never go back. <laughs> <laughs> if there was like a bike that you'll never sell, you've ridden many, and some of them you call it taste ride. Is there something there na, ah, if I own this, I'm never letting go? Oh, but actually, first love never dies. So my oh. first bike is never gonna be sold. That's it's still with you. It's still here. Okay. I'll show it to you in the okay. garage later. My flavor of the last year, the bike that I've been enjoying the most. Nabinagay mo sa iyong Iron Man helmet. Yeah. Yo. This is a really good bike. So I got this wrap, got the wrap itself, oil customs. A lot of parts came from Lazada. Like this windshield over here. Lazada, meron na? Yeah. I think the rad guard is also. And it says F900R. Ah, That's Lazada okay. also. But obviously, okay. the other things that count, like these, sliders, got them at Big Bike Tech, yeah. And this is the most fun thing. 
<laughs> about a motorcycle. Bambucho. Yeah, Orion did that for me. You oh, and next. low seats. Oh, yeah, they have many seats for the F series. Yeah, so, you know. Very Pinoy friendly. Again, I'm 5'2, and that works. You got mirrors, the bar mirrors, ends from okay. zero one mode. Looks great. You know, I'm looking, when you did this, it just changed everything. Yeah. This is where it works now with your helmet. Yeah, you want me to start it up? Hey, sure. Jarvis. Just kidding. Oh, you're not taking it, huh? Oh, wow. Benta, benta. <laughs> They're still fixing it. There's, my logo is wrong. Itong maraming adventure ka dito. I'm a fan of these cheap 99 peso phone mounts. <laughs> they work, honestly. <laughs> so this one is my most customized motorcycle. Yeah. Oh, gale. Bar okay. and signal okay. lights. Kellerman's also. Very clean. Tambucho, you put... Terminioni. Terminioni. You get a Ducati, Terminioni. you put a Terminioni. Terminioni. Nothing else. And I'm not being paid to say that. It's just <laughs> what's bagay. Well, right. that still sounds better. Iba tunog nang grabe. And the OG. Oh, there's another one. They multiplied. So this is the OG. Yeah, that's an the 11 year old So we're going to do the Seventeen thousand kilometers. That's the most. This is mine. My carbs are new green. Wow, what is this? Ano, matibay. Yeah, see. 11 years old, one kick, but I have to thank teacher Jonathan of Fart Monkey's Garage because he fixed the, it. the carbs are the cleanest part. Oh. Mandumi lang daw carb ko. This is also a locally made hot sauce. What would you say to riders um, starting out? It doesn't matter women, men. Best advice is to get proper education and in a safe environment. Like you don't want to just hop into it and like be it. In like Ed's right away. So yeah. <laughs> now I mean like we have access to a lot of like motorcycle schools. Back then when I started, I didn't know of any. But I wish I did. It's only now recently that I started doing track lessons, I did off-road lessons. There's more access now to such things. Mm -hmm. And it makes you a better rider. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Gaki, and Yay. thank you so much for gracing us for Mulratwa. It's an honor, of course. You're one of the women who's out there riding and doing really well. So, maraming maraming salamat. It's an honor, Zach. <laughs> oh my god. I was such a fan. <laughs>